Time to square it off, time to square it off Time to square it off, get my point across Time to square it off like the towel flow yeah. Time to square it off like the Congo yeah. Time to square it off, get my point across What's up band members, so it's actually um, Wednesday for me But what I'm doing today is headed to church Now I usually don't head to church on Wednesdays But for the new year I've decided to, uh, I'm able, well, I'm not decided, but I'm able to, for the new year, I'm now able to uh, go to Bible study at my church, and they have moved choir practice to right after Bible study. So that actually works out for me. It's less times I have to head out this direction um, because they really wanted me to play for Bible study, and if I would have went by what I went by, Last year, I would be going to Bible study on one night and practicing or rehearsing on the next night, which would have me out here twice. But anyways, you guys, that's where I'm headed now. I'm headed to Bible study. There is a rehearsal before Bible study, and there's one right after. So I uh, had a pretty good day at work. How was your day at school or at work or however? You've been um, wherever you've been today. Um, I do want to. I know you guys saw the video on Thursday showing you that uh, we have a challenge out there. So again, 500 subscribers, uh, and we get a puppy. So we need to hit 500 by the 15th. So before it turns the 16th, if we hit 500, we're all good we're in we will uh, go out and get a puppy don't know what type yet um, more than likely a small breed that is hypoallergenic because my kids I think all of us have a slight allergy problem when it comes to pet dander so we can't have too much of a furry dog that's why and I think out of everyone, I have I have it the least. But my, um, you guys know I want a husky anyway. So if I get a husky, I don't know how we're gonna cope with that. But I want a small breed, a breed that my kids won't be a hundred percent scared of, and uh, they'll be able to pick uh, the small dog up if need be, and the dog will actually listen to them because they're bigger. Whereas a husky, I want to get a husky when they're a little more older um, so my kids can either be as big or bigger than the husky. Anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm headed to church. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Let's get to church. What's up, band members? So you're probably wondering why in the world is the is Marty putting these on the door? Well, the simple answer is it's for my daughter. My daughter is four years old, and to me, she doesn't talk in full conversational sentences just yet. And I think it's about time she should. So she does have a speech delay, but um, that, that's not going to stop us from pushing her to say more and do more. Uh, usually when she wants something, she'll come and say one word and we know exactly what she wants. Um, but I think she talks when she feels like it. But this is gonna get her to talk more. It'll get, get her to talk in complete sentences, ask for what she wants, and then we can give it to her once she says it in complete sentences. I think if we do this for a little while, she'll learn that she needs to say a whole sentence to get what she wants. So um, right now she's at dance practice with mommy and me and Sean are here just chilling. We'll see how this goes. We'll see if she uses it. And if she does, we'll keep doing it until she really has it and she doesn't have to go back to these cards. We'll probably add more phrases, 
but we just want to see if this will work. I thought of this idea and I ran it by Keisha and she thought it was a great idea. So we'll see how it goes. So believe it or not, the, uh, the cards are actually working. My daughter actually comes up and she looks at the underlying word and she knows what symbols to use after only one day, which I think is pretty cool. So um, we're gonna keep that going for about a month, see how it goes. The kids are just playing. So we got Sean here and Jasmine playing with the turtle, Ninja Turtles. They're watching TV, he's on his tablet. And he's supposed to be doing arts and crafts, as you can see. And I'm doing cocoa This is all, we, all what he does messes up my kitchen and thinks it's okay but tonight unc plays um unc plays there's two football games today that i'll be watching so come hang with me <laughs>
I've never actually eaten from Panera Bread, but Keisha was so nice to go get us some. I might have to try it out and see how it is. I'll let y'all know. What's up, y'all? So I wanted to get on here to uh, talk to you guys right before the sun went down. Um, let me know if you like the new way the vlog is going. I want to show you guys more of what I do versus talk to you guys. But I'm going to get on here to talk real quick because tonight is the college football championship. And uh, I'm going to give my prediction. Uh, it's against Clemson and Alabama. Alabama won last year. Alabama looks good. Um, I want Clemson to win. And I think they're going to win tonight. Something about my gut has me thinking... Uh, Clemson is going to win tonight. So by the time this posts, the game would have already happened. We would have known the outcome. And you guys can comment below and tell me, you know, make fun of me if I lose and congratulate me if I win if you feel like it. So that's what's going on. Also, we are at 99,000 views. And I'll talk about that a little bit more on my next video because some of you guys out there are trying to get to 100,000 views. Um, and within the next day or so, I'm sure we'll hit that. So I'm excited about that. Headed to go get the kids, got my dinner. Um, I'm excited. I'll talk to you band members in the next video. You hear me? Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And the new model for 2017 is stay sharp and be blessed.